captains for Belmont, <laughs> skating in white this evening. Lily Duffy, Bridget Gray, Devin Kelleher, and Cece Carreri, all seniors. Captains for Winchester, skating in black, Irene Mandiel, Alexandra Denti, and Annie Ettenhofer. So the teams are getting their final instructions at the bench, and then we'll be down to some hockey action, a little bit of a late start here at the skip. What's Belmont have to do to start strong, Dave? Well, they need to come out, Rob, every shift. Just just play every shift to shift. You know, don't worry about the, like, the game. They have to just take shift by shift. Try to win every shift. If they can win every shift, they can skate with this team without question. I think, you know, I know last time they played, they were missing a, missing a few players, and that is what it is. Um, but the reality is, if they come out today with their full team, their three lines, they can make their way into the third period and really work hard. They should they should be able to keep this keep this game and you know maybe pull it off. That last game you referred to was an unfortunate loss to Lexington Saturday evening. That dropped yep. the Marauders. I'm sorry, Rob. I was speaking of the last game with Winchester. I've already the forgot. last game against forgot. Winchester. I've already forgot about the Lexington. Uh, we, <laughs> there were some players missing also against Lexington yeah. Saturday evening. Yeah. Uh, that dropped dropped the Marauders to an eight six and one season record as we go down to center ice for the puck drop, controlled by Winchester. Drop back. They gain the zone. Pisic gets it though, now Duffy skates it out, weaves, but intercepted. Dumped in by Georgia Costello for Winchester. Again, Winchester in black, skating left to right, Belmont in white, right to left. As Winchester controls it, nice pass on the left. Belmont defense swarms on it. That's Duffy out to Clark. She'll dump it in deep for Belmont That's a good line change. Play right there. Fundamentals seem to be Belmont's friend this season when they get away from them or just don't play with them at all. They've had problems. That's CeCe Carreri in the corner for Belmont, fighting against two Winchester skaters. Now set around the right wing, Mia Taylor. In and out of the zone at the Belmont Blue Line. Sent out by Lola Rochi, the junior defenseman. And out again. They're going to try to keep the, keep the attack on, keep applying the pressure rod to, the, to Winchester and taking their space away. Rochi looks for Sadie Taylor. She has it. Cross ice pass off a Winchester player. Now in the neutral zone. Winchester changes up their forward line and recollects. Turnover to Belmont. Rochi to Taylor. It hops her stick, but it's in the zone. Taylor, Sadie Taylor still on it. Now cleared out by Winchester. Breaking out with some speed, but handled by Alex Townsend. Sent deep, but it's icing, and we'll have a face-off in the Belmont zone. 13 minutes remaining here in the first period. It's a 0-0 game. Belmont Marauders against the Winchester Black and Red. Good start so far, Rob. Both teams seem to be um, all over each other. A lot, of high, a lot of high intensity. Belmont's third line takes the ice. Face-off from Evie Long. Sent out by Pizik. Hanley tries to get there, but can't get a handle on the puck. Now Townsend. Sent to Ruby Jones. She clears it out. Looking for Hanley on the left. Controlled by Winchester. That's June McCabe with it along the right. She shoots, but it's uh, right into Lola Rochi. And also wide. McCabe has it again, sends it in, intercepted. That's Good Devin depth. Kelleher in with some speed. She shoots, locked by Annie Edenhofer, the captain for Winchester. Belmont tries to keep it in the zone. 
They're not going to. It's sent long. Rochi tried to glove it so it won't be icing as she collects it behind the net. Looking for help. But met by two Winchester skaters. Now Mia Taylor has it along the left. The pass out off a skate. It's a turnover shot on Bridget Gray. She stops it with a save in front. And our first shot of the game. We're just a few minutes here, here at the Skip Vigliarola Arena. Most of the action has been in Belmont's end. But other than that, a mostly even game. Faceoff controlled by Belmont. Rochi sends it around the boards. Now Mia Taylor tries to chip it out. Caught on the skates of the Winchester players. Now a battle along the Belmont bench. Carreri sends it out, controlled by Winchester. Now sent back in, no icing. Rochi collects it again as Belmont looks to organize a breakout. Taylor, now controlled by Winchester, behind the net. Circles around, tries to stuff it in, but Gray makes the slide across with the save. That's Edenhofer, sends it deep for Winchester. Now Mandiel, Winchester controls. Doing a good job keeping it in the Belmont zone. That's Dente for Winchester behind the net, blocked by Gray, so the centering pass couldn't come out for a shot. Looked like Belmont was breaking out, but sent back into the zone. Now out. That's Ruby Jones, excuse me. That's Charlotte Wright on the four check. Ruby Jones, good job flying in. Winchester comes out with it from behind the net. Edenhofer, she's looking to go in on her own. She'll shoot. It's wide right of the goal. Gray was there, but the shot was about a foot wide right. Scoots out of the Winchester zone. Now a nice entry pass. A nice poke check right there. Yeah, that was Alex Townsend. A good play on what could have been a potential shot. Step up from the Belmont defender. Ping pong around the blue line. Now in, Hanley going hard. Cuts off Edenhofer. Set around the boards from Winchester. Can Belmont cut it off? Hanley tries, not quite. The bouncer comes out, Winchester skates in. That's Parks, taken away by Belmont. They control now, centering pass. Finds Long, she sends it in. It doesn't go deep. One Belmont skater on the four check. Winchester comes out with speed, a nice pass to center Rice. Winchester breaking in, the drop is intercepted by Devin Kelleher, she sends it long, but it's gonna go for icing. With 8.55 remaining here in the first period, we're in a tie hockey game, 0-0. Uh, zero, zero. So far, Rob, I mean, in the, in the defensive zone, the only, thing I, the only thing I could say about Belmont is they got to try to take more space away. They're letting, they're letting Winchester wheel around with the puck. They really need to attack them more and make them make their own mistakes. Alyssa Friedman on the faceoff for Winchester. That's Duffy on the faceoff for Belmont. Bat around the boards, now controlled by Winchester. Almost went out of the zone, but not quite. Rochi in the corner. Battles, she comes out with it. Nice pass out as Belmont breaks out down the right wing. That's Mia Taylor looking for her sister, Sadie Taylor. Can't quite find her, but Sadie Taylor gets it behind the net. Pass back to Sadie Taylor. Poked out by the Winchester defender. That's Edenhofer. Collected by Charlotte Wright. Belmont gains the zone again. Good block from Mia Taylor. It's a trip. It looked like a trip, but no call. As the battle goes to the corner. 2v2, Sadie Taylor comes out with it. That's Looking for a teammate. Now the ref gives a signal. And we're gonna have a penalty, Dave Duffy. 
Yeah, I, give, I agree with the, the, the first one, Rob. I will have to say that they were, I think he was going for the puck type of thing. So like, that's why he didn't call the first one. But the second one, it was definitely an easy call on that second trip for sure. So Belmont goes on the power play uh, fairly early in this contest. They'd like to get one on the board here. They couldn't score against Winchester in the previous game. They'd love to take the lead here. Got Duffy, Pizik, Wright. Clark, who shoots it there. Saved by the Winchester goalie off the right pad. Sadie Taylor also on for Belmont. Winchester gets it off the back of the net. Belmont collects it. The attempted shot is blocked. Charles Wright has it, drops it. Sent back to right by Duffy. She's onto it. Smart play there. Taylor has it behind the goal. Looks for the wraparound. Winchester doing a good job at getting out on the puck. Taylor shoots. Save by Molly Hillier for Winchester. He gets some more bodies towards that net. Because when that shot was taken, there was, there was barely one Belmont player in front of that net. We got to get some more bodies in and look for some rebounds. Face off on the near dot. Devin Kelleher for Belmont. Sends it in. Can't quite find her teammate on it. Winchester breaks out. Evie Long for Belmont. Gets a move through. But sent out of the zone. Now Townsend. Stripped by the Winchester player. Backhand save, Gray. The rebound went into the side of the goal. Now cleared out. It's Mago for Isaacman. No, it's waved off as the puck holds up. We've got 50 seconds remaining in the Belmont power play. Now they control it in the zone. Here's Long. Can't get a shot off. The Winchester player was there first. Townsend keeps it in. Now Winchester looks to clear. Townsend again blocks it. Hanley, chance, the snapshot blocked. Hanley still fighting for it. She goes down, plays it with the stick. Now it's out. Rochi skating hard to stay ahead of the Winchester player. She does. Now down, Belmont has it. 20 seconds left on this power play. Sadie Taylor on the four check for Belmont. Winchester looking just to burn this power play. The outlet pass out to Alexandra Denti. It's in the Belmont zone. Sadie Taylor as time ticks down. Five seconds left. She gains the zone, but it's a two on four. Now three on four. Taylor looking to cross it. Drops it back. Chance here for Duffy. She shoots. Gloved over the back of the net. Nice shot by Duffy. The goalie couldn't goal. It couldn't glove it. It went over the top of the net. Belmont has it. Now Winchester will break out. They do. In the Belmont zone. Dente has it in the corner. Now Belmont controls. Backhand pass to Taylor from Clark. As Belmont's in the midst of a change. And Winchester will have some time to get organized. Sent out Pizik. She finds Kelleher, but it's offside. Yeah, the power play looked a little better than it did the other day, Rob. I mean, there's a little, some light to promise on it before we were having some, they, they were struggling really a lot with that power play. But they seem to spread out and get a few shots off on that one at least. So with five minutes remaining, we're knotted at zero here. Winchester. Breaks into the zone, controls behind the net. Dangerous centering pass intercepted by Rochi. Finds her teammate. Belmont clears the zone, now back in. That's McCabe. She shoots, dangerous bouncer. Gray has the save. It was kind of a knuckleball coming in. Gray was there. Winchester skaters all alone in front of the net. A bit of a defensive lap there for Belmont, but they get away from it for, with it with two saves by Gray. Now they're back in and leaning forward. Winchester coming out with some numbers here. Skating in hard. The move. Well defensed by Carreri. Now the centering pass back to the slot. The Winchester skater couldn't get a shot off. Centering pass in again, intercepted. 
by Devin Kelleher, I believe. Yes. Belmont looks to skate out. Uh-oh. Loose skater. Great save by Gray. The shot blocked. Winchester had two players in there alone. Not sure how. It was just an intercept. Intercepted, broken breakout from Belmont. Winchester still has it in the zone. The backhand blocked by Pizik. Now controlled by Belmont. Skated out by Hanley. Met at the red line. And Winchester's back in the zone again. They've got it in the corner. Pizik's there. Now she has it. Looking for an outlet pass. She makes a move instead. Intercepted shot wide right. Winchester has it again. Gray's on her belly. And the puck goes in over her. It was just another turnover in the defensive end. Gray tried to cover it up, but the Winchester player had it all alone beside the net and just had to flip it over her back and into the net, Dave Duffy. Yeah, Rob, that's just that's really just not a good goal. They can't they can't let, let players have three and four whacks at a puck standing there. You know, the, the defensive breakdown right there, um, not getting the puck out of the zones. It's, it's crushing to them. So they have to, hopefully they can, with 313 left in the first period, that's a, that's a tough one to take. Winchester gets a 1-0 lead. Uh, Belmont just had to get the breakout out of the blue line, but instead of focusing on that fundamental like we talked about in the free game, uh, they tried to do too much getting out of the zone. Winchester intercepted it. Belmont has a breakaway. It's Stuffy. She's in alone. Oh! But Edenhofer comes in from behind. I'm not sure what's happened here. They there was a for, whistle. They called for a uh, hook. Okay, um, so she looks like she was pretty free and clear, though. I'm not sure why uh, they're not calling a penalty shot. Should have been a penalty shot. Yeah, L Lily Duffy was alone. Edenhofer hooked her from behind. Duffy would have had a one-on-one uh, -on -one with the goalie. On that one. I, 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 would have, I would be arguing right now if that was a penalty shot. So Belmont goes on the power play. They'd rather have a penalty shot. We've got 2.45 remaining in the first. Belmont will have two minutes with a one-skater advantage. That's sent long. Gray comes out to play it, looks up, leaves it behind the net. Out to Taylor. It's a hook for Edenhofer. I'm sorry we don't have the uh, the player to name on the goal for Winchester. We, we missed the rink announcement in the midst of that penalty call, but we'll bring that to you later if we can. Winchester leading 1-0 with two minutes remaining in the first period. One minute and 15 seconds remaining on the Belmont power play. Battle in the corner, 2v2. Belmont comes out with it, sent back to right. She shoots, it's wide right. Taylor onto it. She tries to dump it, but it gets past her teammate. Winchester has a one-on-one -on -one chance as the skater cuts in. Saved by Gray. Another breakaway for Winchester. Trying to do too much with that back pass and it skipped the own defender, intercepted again. Belmont collects, skated up to the red line. The attempt to send it in deep is intercepted, but Kelleher does a good chance of winning against two Winchester players. She dumps it back to Clark. Now back to Duffy, she'll shoot. Save Winchester. Follow up shot. And it goes in. It looks like it was tipped. The shot from Clark, the tip from Charlotte Wright, I believe, will wait for the rink announcement, and Belmont scores to tie it up on the power play. 18 seconds remaining in that power play, just one minute and four seconds remaining in the period. He's getting, getting pucks to the net, Rob. It's going to do wonders for you if you just throw something at the net. You never know what's going to happen. You may go off a body, you may go off a stick, you may go in. Belmont also almost found themselves down 2 nothing on a shorthanded goal there, but they come back to score. That's what they needed to even this game at one. With one minute remaining in the first period, Winchester in black, Belmont in white, another battle in the corner. Controlled by Winchester, the centering pass intercepted. Ruby Jones looks to clear the zone. They don't again. It's sent in. 
Gray with the save. Not much of a shot, but she sweeps it away. Now Belmont clears the zone. A nice pass out. The turn and shoot attempt by Ruby Jones cut off as Winchester sends it long. That's going to be icing with 26 seconds left. Dave, I believe that the goal was Charlotte Wright from yes. Clark and Duffy. From Clark and Duffy. So Belmont will have a face-off in the Winchester end with just 26 seconds remaining. They'd love to get a shot off and some pressure here. Pizik and Townsend on defense for Belmont. Taylor, Taylor, and Wright at forward. The shot in blocked. Ettenhofer backhands it out. Belmont tries to control, but... It's a battle on the boards. It's sent to right. There's only three seconds left. She should, could have burned it, but didn't. And the buzzer sounds. No harm, no foul. Belmont comes out of the first period with the tie. Belmont coming off a couple losses in a row to this Winchester team. It was a 2-0 contest last week. But they're in this game tonight, and they can win, Dave Duffy. Yes, Rob. I think, you know, like I said earlier, they just tighten up on some basic stuff. Um, you know, I think that I think they can really do well tonight. I think this, this second period is going to be. They need to come out flying. They need to. They need to be in dumb and uh, in Winchester's face every second, every shift. Like I said before, shift to shift. That's all they need to worry about. The next shift, the next shift, and then win every shift you can, and then you see what happens by the end of the game. So the team switch ends, Belmont in white, Winchester in black, and we're ready for the faceoff to start this second period in a 1-1 game. Controlled by Winchester, Edenhofer out along the boards. Back to Pizik for Belmont. She sends it to Kelleher, Belmont's first line in. It's Kelleher and Duffy working on the boards. Almost a breakout for Winchester there, but stopped along the boards. Clark backhands it out, now sent deep, or attempted to send deep. It's a breakout. Nice pass from Duffy to Kelleher. The shot blocked. Back to Duffy. Now Pizik sends it in. It's a bouncer. Great chance in front. The slap shot from Clark was saved by Molly Hillier, the junior goalie for Winchester. Duffy Sends it to Taylor. Now on, but back out of the Belmont zone. Ping pong at center ice. Now a shot. Blocker save. Rebound in front, but no Belmont player there. That was a deep shot from Belmont. And a good save from Hillier. The shot's about even in this contest thus far. Winchester had an advantage coming into this period, but Belmont has a couple shots to start the second here, Dave Duffy. Yes, bro. Ooh, love the energy uh, from Belmont coming out of the gate right here. They're really, they're really taking it to them right now, and they got to keep it up. That's Mia Taylor with the puck, looking for her left wing. Sister Sadie can't get there. Rochi has it at the back. Sends it up for right, but nobody home. Collected by Addison Walsh. It's a good play by Lola Rochi right there. That's Walsh again in the corner for Winchester. Met by Clark. Reverses it. Skated up the left by Winchester. Now to the center. Sam Kimball breaks in. Shot. Pad save. Bridget Gray. Sent around the boards. Right back to the point for Winchester. Belmont's packed in. The Winchester skater skates in. Shot. A good chance for a tip. Not sure by why the Belmont defense backed off there. They gave Winchester a good scoring chance, but luckily it didn't get to the goal with a block. Yeah, little things like that, Rob, are going to come and come back and bite him. Turnover. Not sure where the wing was on that. The wing, the wing was not out on the, covering that D. And then everyone just, like you said, everyone just backed in way too far. They need to go at the puck and have Winchester cause some 
create some mistakes on their own. Not back into the goalie and take away Bridget's vision. The Belmont goalie covered up that, not really a shot, but slide in from Courtney Fisher for Winchester who takes the face off. It wraps around the boards to Mackenzie Clark, the freshman, out to Lily Duffy. Nice play by Duffy to control it. She's down on the left, looking for a teammate back to Clark. Intercepted by Winchester, kept in the zone. Battle along the door to the Belmont bench. It's 3v3 against the boards. It's a rugby scrum. Winchester comes out with it. The outlet pass blocked by Devin Kelleher. Her shot. Glove save by Hillier for Winchester on the shot from Duffy, I believe. Yeah, Clark let that it one It was rip. Clark, excuse me. So we'll have a faceoff in the Winchester end. Kelleher on the faceoff for Belmont. It's Alyssa Friedman for Winchester. Battle back to Duffy. She sends it in. Save and batted out by the goalie, Hillier. Sent to the point, jumps the Belmont skater. Winchester breaking out with speed, two on one. Weave, save, Gray, rebound up in the air. Save again, Gray, it's behind the net. Belmont skater's not sure where the puck is. Now Devin Kelleher comes out with it. Gray made a good save there on the two on one. But the rebound went way up in the air and ultimately ended up behind the Belmont bench. Winchester skating out with speed again. But well defense by Belmont. Attempt to send it in deep from Mia Taylor. Doesn't get through the Winchester defense. Now set long. Good pinch up by CeCe Carreri for Belmont. The senior captain defender. Sadie Taylor comes out with it for Belmont. The centering pass to Sister Mia blocked by a Winchester skate. Sent around the boards. Now Costello for Winchester. Reverses around, looking for the pass. Taylor gets it, backhands it in, intercepted. Sent out by Winchester. The referee signals icing. And we'll have a face-off in the Winchester zone with 10.33 remaining here in the second period. Belmont one, Winchester one. Belmont in white, Winchester in black in this Middlesex lead contest. I like the effort so far in the second period, Rob. We're spending a lot more time in the offensive zone than we did in the first period, so it's, it's a good sign. Both teams have had chances, but Belmont started stronger than Winchester in the first three or four minutes of this one anyway. Winchester zips it around through the corner. Dente met by Hanley. Winchester can't clear the zone. Ruby Jones with the shot. Rebound goes out to the side. Belmont trying to keep it in. Sent long, collected by Alex Townsend. Looking for Hanley. No icing. Lulu Murphy behind the net has it for Winchester. The Winchester breakout is going to be stopped by Rochi at the red line. Winchester has it again, but Belmont has numbers back as Winchester changes. Sent in deep. Rochi will grab it behind the net. Look up, outlet pass to Duffy. Belmont in the middle of a change, didn't have numbers there as Winchester skates back into the zone. Block from Rochi. Good block from Rochi there as it could have been a shot on goal. Duffy, now Rochi, now Winchester has it. Controls along the board. Boards Rochi, reverses course. Devin Kelleher for Belmont. Both players go down. Winchester has it behind the net. Looking for the centering pass is Ellie Parks. Still behind the net. Duffy in the battle. It comes out. It was in a dangerous position, but a Winchester player couldn't quite get a stick on it. Too crowded in the zone. But Belmont could use a clearance here. Sent around by Rochi. Looking for Kelleher. Shot in. Pad save Gray. Rochi again. Sends it long. This is going to go for icing unless it's on net. 
And it's not. So the referee blows the whistle and we'll have a faceoff in the Belmont end with 8.22 remaining. Probably a good icing. Very Dave good Duffy, icing. Belmont needed his own clearance. They needed a change. A smart play by Lola Rochi there. Find the open spot. Let's get some fresh legs out there and settle things down a little bit. They were running around a little too much in the end of that shift for sure. So Belmont changes up all five skaters. Face off in their zone. Controlled by Belmont. Sent around the boards. Sadie Taylor looks to get there. Can't. Now she has it again. Sent long. Intercepted by Addison Walsh. Charlotte Wright tries to get there, but Winchester comes out with it. That's Addison Walsh. Controls it on the backhand behind the net. Met by Wright, now reversed. Battle in the corner, two on one for Belmont. One by Belmont, set around to Sadie Taylor by the Zamboni door, looking for a pass. It gets through. Sister Mia is on the end of it, down the right wing. She shoots. It's a goal for wow, Belmont. Mia Taylor beats Molly Hillier above the right pad. It went into the left side of the net. It's a sister-to-sister -sister connection as Sadie Taylor on the left wing finds Mia Taylor on the right wing, and Belmont takes the lead in this contest. They lead 2-1 to one against the Winchester black and red, Dave Duffy. That was a great little shot there, Rob, coming down that side. She shot it perfectly. Just far enough off the ice, they say, on 16 inches as the sweet spot on a stick side. It's very hard for her to say that, and she hit it right there. So Belmont finds itself ahead against Winchester for the first time this season. A 2-1 to one lead with 7.30 remaining in the second period of this contest. Ruby Jones gets it in on the backhand pass, intercepted. So Alex Townsend has the assist along with Sadie Taylor on that Belmont goal from Mia Taylor. The shot in from Winchester blocked. Sent behind the net, controlled by Alex Townsend. Outlet pass to Ruby Jones. Very close to a good chance there. Pizik now can't get it out. Controlled by Winchester. Winchester skater met in the corner by Townsend. It's off the back of the net. Dangerous centering pass there from Winchester. That skater unchallenged. Now Duffy behind the net. Backhands it to Clark. Doesn't clear the zone. Here's a shot from the point. Gray gloves it on the shot by Edenhofer. She had a queen look, but Gray saw it all the way. So we gotta keep the Belmont girls gotta keep the feet moving. They're in the defensive zone. As soon as they stop, they're dead. You know, they have to keep their feet moving, keep the applying pressure, and they'll get the puck away from them. Can't let Winchester walk around with the puck. Face off. Dangerous pass. The reverse. Gray makes the save. She did the splits and it stayed out of the net as the wraparound was attempted by Winchester. Now in their zone. Belmont tries to keep it in. They do. That's Park off the boards. Now out. It's a bouncer. The soccer play from CeCe Carreri. She does well to keep it from getting behind her. Lola Rochi, the junior defenseman, back for Belmont, turns. Outlet pass up the middle, tipped, but it's going to go for icing. Unfortunate break there, and we'll have another faceoff in the Belmont end. There's 547 remaining here in the second. Belmont in white is now leading this contest over Winchester, two to one. Love to see Belmont get one more goal this period, Rob, and really like drive it to them. They got to, they got to get. It seems to tilt it just a little. The last last few minutes of the game have been down. Belmont's in a lot. Love to just see. Face off control by Winchester. Shot in, deflected. That was dangerous. Gray was there, but it never got to her. Sadie Taylor fighting along the boards. Back now, stuffed by Mia Taylor in the Winchester zone. Now it's out to the neutral zone. Pizik. Sends it to Mia Taylor, collected by Charlotte Wright, backhands it in, but onto a Winchester stick. The outlet pass connects for Winchester. That's a nice move by Georgia Costello. She controls in the middle, skates in alone, looking for the shot, curls around, centering pass back. The shot on goal goes wide right. Good chance for Winchester. 
Fight behind the net. Belmont comes out ahead. Sadie Taylor looking for that same play to her sister. Can't find her. It does clear the zone. Dumped in by Winchester. They'll change up. But the forecheck is on. Dangerous pass in front. But Belmont should be able to clear the zone here. They do. Belmont needs a change now. We get that puck deep and get off the ice. Winchester skates in with speed. Weaving in, backhand. That's Edenhofer. She still controls. Back to the point. Shot in, blocked off a of Belmont skater. The second line is tired as they change out one skater. Can't quite get the four check through. It's going to go for icing as that puck is sent long and not tipped. So Belmont gets a break here. Full change, face off in the Winchester end. Four minutes and nine seconds to go. They have a one goal lead and they'd like to add to it as we head to the end of the second period. It'll be Evie Long for Belmont on the face off. Ruby Jones and Gretchen Hanley also on this forward line. Rochi and Carreri on defense. Bridget Gray in goal. Jones in the corner. Winchester comes out with it. Skated up. Intercepted by Rochi. She sends it deep. Hanley looks to track it down. No, it's long. She does track it down. Looks back for Hanley off of Winchester stick. Now sent out. Winchester breaks out. Lola Rochi with the poke check there. Is able to steer it to the corner. Neutralize the threat. 2v2 on the corner. It comes back in front. Dangerous. CeCe Carreri has it though. Sends it out to... Gretchen Hanley, it bounces, it will not be icing. Hanley looks to track it down in the corner. It's Attenhofer for Winchester, she has it. The pass out is tipped, but not controlled. Rochi has it, looks up, sends it through, finds Duffy. Hot shot, Duffy almost had it. Winchester comes through, it's sort of a two on one. Gray makes a save. It's off to the side. Kicked out by Kelleher, but not out. Winchester has it in. Controls in the corner, trying to set something up. Rochi's stick is in there, now Duffy. Winchester still has it, centering pass back. Kelleher's got it. She skates out, she's out of the zone. She'll deep. send it deep, not quite, but stays with it and finally does get it deep. Belmont changes out. Winchester tries to break out. That's Ellie Parks for Winchester behind the net. She's met by Duffy. She yeah, has right. it. Oh, by right, excuse me. Sent long, but not to the red line. Belmont can't get it in deep. Sent long again. Not icing. It looked like it could have been, but no signal from the referee. Pisa behind the net for Belmont. Pass out to Mia Taylor. Clears the zone. Winchester in the neutral zone. That's Costello coming in with speed again. She's done this several times. Nice pass back. Pad saved by Gray. The pass from Costello. The shot from right in the slot by Winchester. Gray's on it, backhand in, in front. Dangerous pass again. Sent out from Sadie Taylor to Mia Taylor. She has a chance to win this in the zone for Belmont. We've only got a minute and a half remaining in the second period here, wrapped around the boards. That's Bloomsack. From Winchester, nice move, turn, shoots. Gray with the save. Deflection in front, but Belmont was there, and Winchester was not there for the rebound. Amy Kelly for Winchester sends it around the boards as we get the one minute left in the period. Announcement, Belmont controls, pass back in. A nice one-two chance for Belmont there, but couldn't get enough on the shot. Winchester breaks out, another Stick poke from Lola Rochi there to neutralize a threat. Now CeCe Carreri with the same. It's sent to the corner. We've got 30 seconds remaining. Pucks in the air. Controlled by Belmont. Lily Duffy up the side. Two on one for Belmont. She looks for a teammate. Nice pass. Shot. Save. Win 
Winchester, another save. Winchester pucks loose right in front. No Belmont skater there. Sent up by Winchester. That's going to go for icing, or it should. It does with 13.7 seconds left. Another great chance for Belmont, Dave Duffy. Yes, that was a flurry in front of the net. They just could not put it in. And it, sometimes it happens, Rob. They, they get a little bit of puck luck, and that would have been in the net. So Belmont will have a face-off and hopefully a chance with 13.7 seconds left. Devin Kelleher on the face-off. Back to Duffy. Back to Pizik. She shoots. It's wide left. Around the boards and up over the glass. So we'll have another face-off now with 7.1 7 seconds left in the second period. Belmont leading 2-1. to one. Let's see if they can get a shot on goal. We'd love to see Belmont get more pucks on net, Rob. I know I keep saying it, but as a team in general, as a whole, they're just shooting the puck wide way too much. Some nice work in net from Molly Hillier, the junior, to keep Belmont from getting that third goal. Puck loose in front, controlled by Winchester. The buzzer's going to sound any second. And it does. And we come to the end of the second period. We entered it tied one to one. We leave it with Belmont leading two to one over the Winchester black and red. The teams are getting their final instructions at the bench for Dave Duffy. What do, what do the Marauders have to do here in the third to lock down this win? I think they stick with the game, the game plan they had for the second period. I would just duplicate that, but I would just pressure the puck a little more. Like, there's a, like I said before, there's a couple, you know, a couple collapses here and there. If they minimize that and just keep working hard, get that puck deep, just get, this goal is going to giving up some rebounds. He's going to get the puck on the net and get, and get, get crashed in after the rebound. Belmont is in the lead, but maybe lucky to be there because Winchester had a lot of chances both in the first and second period. Some good goaltending from Bridget Gray, some great defense from Lola Rochi and others. So stops and breakaways for Belmont. It's getting loud here as we go down the center ice for the faceoff. Mandio on the draw for Winchester. Duffy for Belmont. Winchester has it now. Entry pass. A good move in from Dente. Looks like Winchester switched their lineup in the first. This puck drop too, Rob. The last, last two periods, they had different lines starting. Back at the point. Sent to the corner. Belmont has it. Skated out by Mackenzie Clark, the freshman. Looking for Duffy. Clark goes down. Winchester has it. Sent in. Sticked away by Bridget Gray. Get that deep. There you go. Good Pass play. up. It is sent deep by Mackenzie Clark. Belmont's second line skates on. Winchester reorganizes. Looks to skate it out. Carly Bloomsack. Met by Sadie Taylor. Winchester skates in, but Belmont had some numbers back. Prevents the shot on goal. Set in by Edenhofer. Around the ring. Rochi working in the corner. Winchester showing some good control of the puck here. Pass back to the point to Edenhofer. She's going to shoot blocked by Sadie Taylor. Can they get it out? Belmont does. Taylor on the backhand. Intercepted, though. That's Friedman for Winchester. Shot high. Gray gloves it. The shot coming from Georgia Costello. It was probably going to go over the bar, but Gray not taking any chances. We're just under two minutes into the third period here. Belmont leads Winchester 2-1. to one. Belmont in white, Winchester in black. Winchester controls the faceoff. Shot in and was screened, but Gray had the pad save. She had it covered. Looking for Hanley. Can she keep it in the Winchester zone? Good job on the forecheck. Almost picked Edenhofer's pocket, but couldn't quite. Skated onto by Lulu Murphy for Winchester. Comes in with speed. Off of Belmont skate, stuff shot in. It's wide right. Edenhofer in the corner. 
Townsend battling. Edenhofer now in the other corner, met by Pizik. She circles. She's got it point blank. Bridget Gray with the save. And she covers it up. She absorbed it pretty much. There wasn't much of a rebound, but it Go dropped right on. in front of her, and she gloved it up. Dangerous chance for Winchester there as Eden, Edenhofer circled into the slot and uh, had a shot uh, unchallenged there. Yeah, they have, to, they have to definitely get on that and definitely attack the Winchester player who loves the puck. Sent in by June McCabe into the corner. Belmont on it. Mackenzie Clark. McCabe now has it behind the net. Reverses course. Duffy's in there now. Mackenzie Clark again. But Winchester has it. And it goes out. Devin Keller on the back there. And Adam Hopper's in. Nobody steps up. She's got it alone in the slot again. She circles. Now she's around the back of the net. Looking for the wraparound. No. She reverses course. Finally, met by a Belmont skater. Wins it. It's out of the zone. Edenhofer again has it in mid ice. Pass up. Deflected. Devin Kelleher has it. Sends it long. Belmont will change. Winchester sets it up. Outlet pass goes to somebody else and back to Edenhofer. Great stick by CeCe Carreri in the neutral zone. Edenhofer has it again. She'll shoot again. Greg loves it. It was on goal. The referee finally blows the whistle. Yeah, Belmont's going to just that one, one play right there in the middle, Rob. And they're listening a lot of circling. They're going to need to do a lot of stops and starts. are going to pay dividends to them if they just stop on the puck, get right back to it instead of circling around, giving the person more space. Winchester controls again, keeps it in the zone on the backhand from Murphy. Trying to set up a shot in front. Belmont blocks it. Mia Taylor looks to send it out but stopped on the wall. Sent out again, long. Will it go for icing? I believe so. No. The puck holds up. That's Sadie Taylor in the corner. She circles, looks for Mia Taylor. Blocked by Winchester. Charlotte right in there now. But that's gonna be a penalty on right. As she takes down a Win Winchester skater behind the Winchester goal and do that. Winchester will go on the power play with 10.39 remaining here in the third period. Belmont holds a 2-1 to one lead in this very tight contest and didn't want to give up a power play at this point in the game for sure. Yeah, they, uh, Winchester has a good power play. Um, let's see what Belmont can do there. So we've got Long, Rochi, Pizik, on the and Townsend on the penalty kill for Belmont. Winchester controls. Oh, it's outside. It slipped past the blue line. Edenhofer couldn't quite get a handle on it. Belmont will take that as it relieves the pressure. Winchester looked to have something set up. We've got Goldberg and uh, Friedman on for Winchester. Friedman on the draw. Now Goldberg. Costello. Set in. Winchester controls. Wheeled behind the net. Still controlled by Winchester. They look to set it up. Pass in front. Save. Gray. It's loose in front. Gray covers it up. She had to make two saves there as the original shot went off her pad and was jammed back in. So we've got 128 remaining on the Winchester power play. They'll keep their same squad on the ice. Rochi behind the goal. Can she send it long? It gets around. Yes, Belmont clears the zone. Chipped out long by Mia Taylor on the four check. Winchester, oh, now stuffed by Ruby Jones. Winchester skates in, looked offside, but no. Shot, save, Gray, and she covers it up. So we've got, got a minute three left on this power play, Dave Duffy. What are you seeing out there? Well, they're gonna, they're just, they're gonna hold, looks like they're holding on for dear life on this one, Rob. They're going to get the puck and just ice it. 
puck loose in front. Roshi goes to it. Winchester has it behind the net. Back to the point. Shot. It's wide left. They're going to attack the puck, I can tell you that. Back to the point again. No shot this time. A pass controlled by Winchester. They're doing a good job moving it around here. Edenhofer has it. Skates to the middle. Now the pass. Good angle in. Shot. It looked like it was deflected right. Still in. Oh, Belmont clears the zone. Ruby they just Jones. Just the puck there, Rob. Just what they do right there. Just a little thing right there. Applying some pressure. They're going to pop the puck up. Especially on a penalty kill. And they did there. Lowell Rochi has it, sends around the boards, but nobody's home for Belmont. Winchester has an open look. As time ticks down on this power play, they control it in the corner. Good work by Duffy for Belmont there. She's still in it. She sends it long and through, and this will kill the power play for Winchester. They can't get on the board and tie this contest with 8.30 remaining. Belmont stops the power play. They have it now in the Winchester zone, looking to capitalize on that lost opportunity. But Winchester skates out, weaving in and out and through the Belmont defense. It's Georgia Costello. She skates in, save Gray, and she covers it up. Costello went in 10 on a nifty little play. And Belmont needed Gray to come up big there to keep this one two to one in Belmont's favor. Yeah, Belmont needs to regroup right about now, Rob. They need to uh, settle things down. Now the five on five and gain control of this game again. And they send on the first line with Duffy on the draw to do just that. Pisa has it. Clears the zone, looking for Duffy. It comes back. Townsend finds Clark along the boards to Duffy. Back to Clark. She shoots. It's blocked. Winchester controls. Sent from Fisher, out to Parks, behind the goal, sticked away by Pizik. Now Duffy in the battle, Devin Kelleher along the boards, looks to clear, can't quite, collected by Winchester, wheeled around into the slot, shot, save, Gray. It deflects to the right corner. We'll see who comes out with it, it's Winchester. Sent in, now loose in front, dangerous. He Devin Kelleher on there. Back to the point. Slapper. Gray saves it. Pad save. Behind the Belmont goal. Belmont needs a zone clearance here. Can they get it? Clark does chip it out finally near the blue line. Belmont changes up. Get it Townsend deep. has it. Needs to send it deep. She does. It'll go on goal and covered up by the Winchester goalie. Whistled for a Belmont faceoff. They'll take it with 6.52 remaining in this contest and a one-goal lead. It was a smart play by Alex right there. Just getting that puck deep. The only goal he's going to tie it up. Settle things down here for a minute. Belmont sends on Long, Jones, and Hanley. Carreri and Rochi on defense. Gray and goal. Hanley trying to win it by the Winchester goal. Now sent out by Winchester. They've got a three on two potential here. Long getting back, the shot. It's blocked by Carreri and into the corner. But Belmont's not out of the woods yet. Winchester's overloading their, their side, their strong side where the puck is. Belmont needs to get the puck over the other side automatically. They're not gonna get it up the boards that way. Winchester controls, shot in, it's wide left and into the right corner. It's a scrum for it there, and Hanley comes out of it, but there's a whistle. Are we going to have a penalty, Dave Duffy? We are going to have a penalty, Rob. On Belmont. So, Belmont surviving a third period power play, just barely, is going to have to survive a second power play. Not a good situation, Rob. It's Carreri in the box for Belmont. We'll see what the call is. It was hooking. So two minutes for hooking. Winchester controls, passes it along the blue line. Calmly passing the puck around. Edenhofer has it in the middle. They need to attack the puck. Belmont's sort of collapsing here. The shot in, it's deflected and over the goal. Winchester has it behind the net. 
They still control right defense for Belmont. The passing by Winchester, very good here. They're setting something up. Belmont needs to change the dynamic here. The shot in. It's wide left. Winchester has controlled this entire power play. Belmont, zero possession. Winchester still has it. Keeps it in the blue line. Sent in by Georgia Costello. Now it's around the back. Winchester still controls it. The backhand out. Edenhofer. She shoots. Tries to beat Gray. With a little lob in, Gray saw it, but it was wide left anyway. She didn't have to make the save. Edenhofer again, that same move, but passes back instead. Shot from the side, it's wide right. Winchester can't get it on net, even though they've controlled this entire power play. Belmont's tired, there's 45 seconds remaining in the power play. No clearance, Belmont hasn't gotten the change. Tied up in the corner, wasting some time, which is good for the Marauders. I think that's Pizik. She's putting in a, a great there, battle though. against uh, two Winchester skaters, but nobody else jumped in. Nice play by Belmont, and a penalty on Winchester. That was Sadie Taylor. She cleared the zone, won the battle at the blue line, and got immediately tripped by the Winchester player. It was a hustle play, Rob. Creating, creating an opportunity there for herself. She hustled after the puck at the blue line, caused some havoc, tipped it, and the girl tripped it. it was so with complete... 20 seconds left on the Winchester power play, we go to four on four for 20 seconds. Then Belmont will have this one skater advantage for a minute and 40 seconds as Winchester ices the puck immediately. We've only got 427 remaining in this contest. We're in the third period. Belmont leads two to one. They'd love to burn this four on four and then get the skater advantage on the power play and try and take a two goal lead. Face off, controlled by Edenhofer. Sent to Dante. She's got Bloomsack with her in this four on four. Winchester controls. Now Duffy has it for Belmont. Pass out, past the blue line, but Belmont doesn't really have control. Now they do, as they take the man advantage with a minute 30 to go in this power play. Belmont has five skaters, Winchester four now. That's Sadie Taylor, controls it, passes back. Pizik looks for the shot. It gets blocked in front by Winchester. The pressure that puck, dude. we're a man up. Sent long, but not out, or attempted to send long. Intercepted at the blue line by Townsend. Shot in by Pisa. Good chance for Belmont. Right on the doorstep was Mackenzie Clark. But a save from Molly Hillier for Winchester. We gotta get on that puck. 45 seconds remaining on the Belmont power play. This goes long. Gray will stop it behind the net. Duffy has it, she looks to skate out. Now sends it up to Taylor. Turnover to Winchester. 25 seconds remaining on the power play. Winchester will gladly take their time. Stopped at the red line, but Winchester has it again. That's Murphy. They're gonna move that puck. Belmont can't put anything together here. It's into the zone, but nine, eight, seven left on this power play. Only two and a half minutes in the game. Belmont a one goal lead, they can't capitalize. It's kept in briefly by Hanley. Now another penalty. It's a trip against Belmont. Winchester is gonna close out this game with a power play for almost the entire remaining time. There's 223 on the big clock. There's gonna be two minutes on the power play clock and Belmont finds themselves facing the third Winchester power play in the third period. Belmont needs to take a, a, a timeout right here, Rob, and rest, rest some kids and uh, let's figure this two minutes out. They do look winded, but 
a timeout has not been called. Now it is, I think, the timeout was called by Winchester. Oh, lucky for Win lucky for Belmont it was. So it looks like it's going to be Townsend, Rochi, Jones, and Mia Taylor on the penalty kill, along with Gray and Goal. We'll see if that changes now that some players will have a time to rest during this Winchester timeout. Winchester needing the tying goal, trying to set up a play. That Belmont penalty uh, on Hanley for tripping. The only positive thing here, Rob, you, you gotta hope, is 2.23 left. I don't anticipate Winchester pulling their goalie out of the gate. Um, but if they do pull their goalie with, say, a minute, minute and a half left or under, Belmont would give them a free shot at their net if they went to ice it. So that, if again, if they pull their goalie for a six on four. And to do that, Belmont has to get control of the puck which during the have, power play. Which is very, seems to be very difficult for them. <laughs> Especially in the last power play, Belmont really had a hard time getting a hold of it. Credit to Winchester for their puck movement and passing, which, which was accurate controlled and very calm. Let's see if they can maintain that composure here as Winchester sends out. Oh, they're pulling her now. Dante. Okay. Friedman. Mandiel. Ettenhofer. Okay, they're going to six on four here. Six on four. Also, Amy Kelly. I know I'm missing one Winchester skater. We'll see. Winchester controls the faceoff back to the point. It's a move. Screenshot in. And it found the top left corner. From our angle here in the broadcast booth, you could see that there were five or six players screening Bridget Gray on that shot. It was an excellent shot from Georgia Costello, and it just popped right into the top right corner. I don't think Greg can see it at all. See it. Not a chance. So it's tied up, two to two. The game goes back to full strength, but the Marauders have lost the lead and the momentum. And we find ourselves in a tie hockey game with 2:14 remaining in the contest. We're in the third period. Skated in by Edenhofer, controlled behind the net. Still controlled behind the net. Sent to the corner by Taylor. I don't think Belmont realizes it's five on five at this point, Rob. Townsend battles for it. She's winning against two skaters. She does win it. Now cleared out of the zone for Belmont. Taylor almost had a break, couldn't quite chip it clear. Winchester comes back in with speed. That's Mandiel. Now it's on a Belmont stick. Rochi cuts back, clears it. Picked up at the red line and controlled by Winchester. Setting up right at the center dot. Winchester has it. Now breaks in. Shot, save, Gray. Rebound controlled by Belmont. That was Costello again who just had the tying goal. Intercepted by Winchester. Loose behind the goal. Belmont's on the puck. Rochi cuts back. Sends it around the boards. Looking for Kelleher. An unfortunate bounce. Pops it out to Winchester. Sent long for Taylor. Can she get through? Not quite. Edenhofer controls it. Belmont looks to gain the zone. Pizik does. But it's intercepted with 40 seconds left by Winchester. Backhanded in by Clark. Can't be kept in. Friedman comes out with it for Winchester. Now sent in deep. Pizik can't get it. Has it behind the goal. Sends it out. It's off of Winchester skate and kept in. Pizik again flips it. And it bounces through right on the Lily Duffy skate. One on one. She finds Clark. Stretches for it but can't get control for a shot. We've got 10 seconds left in this one. It's two to two. Can Belmont get a shot off? No. Can Winchester get a shot off as they break out the poke check? Now the shot, Gray makes the save as the buzzer sounds. Belmont just survives with a two to two tie. They'd like to have the win. 
But they've survived regulation and now we'll have overtime. So the team switch ends again for the overtime. Belmont is sending out, uh, it looks like their second line to start this overtime against Winchester's first line. We'll see how that plays out. It's Taylor, Taylor, Wright, and Rochi for Belmont. That's Sadie Taylor. She skates in, gains the zone. Controls on the left board. She'll shoot. It's saved. A glove save from Molly Hillier for Winchester. 13 seconds in. Face off in the Winchester zone. Right on the draw for Belmont. It looks like Winchester has Edenhofer and Costello on the ice. That's Costello skating in. She gains the line on the backhand. Wheels, turns. Amy Kelly also went for Winchester. That shot goes wide. Winchester controls, wheeling. Also Irene Mandiel for Winchester. Stick check. Sent out of the zone. No icing. Belmont will change up. Winchester will change two, at least some players. Set long control by Winchester. They've got a two on one, but they can't quite collect it. Now it's a one on one. The centering pass can't find a player for Winchester. Deflected back in the Belmont zone. Lola Rochi has it in the corner, looking for a player. Sends it to Clark, but a Winchester wins it with a heavy six shot. Saved by Bridget Gray with the pad. Winchester still has it in the zone. They've got it in the corner. Belmont couldn't find the exit pass to the zone there. Winchester still controls on the backhand. That's Edenhofer in the corner. Now behind the net. Met by Clark. Now bet by another Belmont skater. Just sent long by Belmont. This will be on goal, so no icing. Covered up by the Winchester goalie, Hillier, and Belmont will get a face-off in the Winchester zone, but not any offensive chances with most of their first line on the ice. No, uh, most of the first line on the ice now. Kelleher, Duffy, Looks like, along looks with like Duffy's Long, on defense. Duffy's on defense, Long, and uh, Townsend. As Winchester skates out, they've got a mini two-on-one. Nice move. Circling around, trying to stuff it over. It's Winchester save. Gray, another save. Gray, long, needs to get it out. She does with the backhand chip. Devin Kelleher, she's gunning for it. Nope, now she'll set back. Long pass from Edenhofer. Very good. That should be offside, and it is as the body of Georgia Costello was in the zone before the puck, 2.55 remaining in overtime. It's a tie, of course, because as soon as somebody scores, this one is over. Face off outside the Belmont zone. Friedman against Clark on the draw. The referee will call a redo. Boomsack on the ice. Also Murphy for Winchester. That's Murphy. Back to Edenhofer. Clark Rochi. That's Rochi against the Zamboni door. She comes out with a pass to Clark. A little bit long. Can Clark get there? No. Sent back in. Rochi again. Off a of Winchester stick. Clark battling for it. Now into the Winchester zone. Now out. Along the boards, sent back from Sadie Taylor to Loa Rochi, back to Sadie Taylor, looking for a shot, she drags it, deflected off the goalie, behind the net now, Winchester has it, off Sadie Taylor's shoulder, she's got it in the corner, back to the point, nobody's home for Belmont on a line change, they'll have to clear the zone, Evie Long skates it in, Looking for the shot, but stuffed by Winchester. Sit, Taylor's in along the boards. It's out past the blue line. Alex Townsend wheels, finds Lily Duffy at the red line. She finds Sadie Taylor. Now Long's on it. We've got 143 remaining in the overtime. Edenhofer controls for Winchester. 
She's met by Evie. She goes, Evie long. She goes down. It's loose in front. Smartly covered up by the Winchester goalie, Molly Hillier. Face off in the Winchester zone. 130 left in this contest, Dave Duffy. We'll see what that 130, yeah, 130 left, Rob. Uh, Belmont has been down their zone. Let's see, let's see if they get a, a, at least a shot off. That's Kelleher on the draw for Belmont. Pizik, the defender, also in. It's back to Pizik. She sends it into the corner. Kelleher has it. Now Winchester has it. Poked around the boards the other way. Winchester looking to put a breakout together. Nice pass to the middle. Wheeled in, shot, save, Gray. Rebound picked up by Mia Taylor. She skates it out. Can she dump it deep? She still controls it along the right. Centering pass deflected in and off the goalie for Winchester. Control by Winchester. Less than a minute. The shot blocks. Oh, now dangerous off the goal. Gray covers it up smartly. As Georgia Costello from Winchester was skating in to grab that puck, but she couldn't. There's 47 seconds left. The faceoff in the Belmont end. It'll be Friedman on the draw for Winchester. The Belmont's been going with three forwards and a defenseman for this whole overtime, Rob. It's interesting to me. Like, um, if, not that you ever want to play for a tie, but they're a lower, Belmont's a lower-ranked team, and you would think that it would be a little more defensive. Uh-oh, turnover. Right in front, slapper, wide right. Couldn't get much on it, but Winchester controls. Centering pass in, Belmont has a chance to clear, and they do. Breaking out of Sadie Taylor along the right. Two Winchester defenders there, she's met. It clears the blue line, Belmont will have to tag. Pass from Rochi to Duffy, she skated in. The referee signals off sides with 20.5 seconds left. There'll be a face-off just outside the Winchester zone. We're knotted at two. It's a nail-biter here at the skip. Can Winchester or Belmont score in the remaining 20 seconds? Referee drops the puck. Winchester controls, skates out. Rochi gets back, tries to turn the corner, finds Taylor, she guns it in. Save and covered up by the Winchester goalie, Molly Hillier. This is actually a good play there, Rob. You get, now you get nine seconds left. You get an offensive zone face off. So interesting for Belmont, we find uh, Freshman Theomana, oh, excuse me, that's Alex Townsend on defense for Belmont. The draw comes in, time's ticking down, less than five seconds left. Battle behind the goal, nobody can get a handle on it. Two seconds left. Winchester sends it long. This one's going to end in a draw as the buzzer sounds. Belmont survives the overtime to keep a 2-2 tie. Winchester had the momentum at the end of three after tying it up. A pretty even overtime, really. Uh, but I think Belmont's happy to hold on for the tie against the higher-ranked team. They stopped the losing streak at two, a mini losing streak anyway, as the teams line up to shake hands in the middle. A hard-fought contest. Both teams acquitted themselves well in this second matchup of the season. So Belmont goes from a loss to Winchester a week ago to a draw in this Middlesex League contest. Thanks for joining us on this Belmont Media Center broadcast of Belmont Marauders Girls Varsity Hockey. I'm Rob Gray with Dave Duffy. 